Hi, uh, Alex Sender here with Electric Bikes Plus. Thanks everybody for the great suggestions. This is going to be the phase one um, follow up video, but a big thanks to Professor Peroni and everybody in the class. I uh, just want to mention Maria, Brianna, Allison, Ray, Davis, Marvin. Um, you know, your suggestions in particular are going to be addressed in this video. Um, so let's get going. I have a lot of stuff to cover, but you know, I threw three areas of focus out there the store, the online store, and my rental um, uh, hopes for the season and moving forward. So, you know, those are the areas that somebody had mentioned that it's a little confusing when they when they go to my landing page or my home page are you a renter are you an online store are you a brick and mortar i'm all free that's what i am i am working i know it's always best to just have one area of focus but i've got to make these three things support each other that's just the business i'm in right now uh, but any suggestions on how to do that or logically kind of tier these things in this more targeted way i'm all for but right now i'm looking to focus on bolstering all three aspects of my business. Um, I just threw this slide up here. This is kind of a, a not, it's just the conversation I have with almost every customer. Um, and just real quick, my response, budget, so important, even of us with extra money, still keeping an eye on it. Some of us have a commute. We need the bike to get to a certain distance and back. And like yours truly, some of us like to go fast. At the end of the day, though, the look and feel, you're going to spend so much money on these things, even if you try to save it. Get the right bike for you. So that's all that's about. To the store, because that's where I have that conversation almost every day, sometimes several times a day. The location, this is where I am for now. Um, I am in talks with RV World. They're moving into a location next to Brass Pro Shops in North Dania Beach off of 95. Um, I'm meeting with them this week to discuss a presence there that may or may not change my situation where I have, I work, I have some bikes and a presence there in addition, or instead of at the marketplace, we'll see what happens. Got a couple of, just real quick on the signage and logo stuff. I get it. Um, you know, not everybody loves the, the logo. It could have, you know, but I do, and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on it, so I'm leaving it alone two, three colors. I understand. I'm a designer. We love our logo. We're keeping it, but thanks just the same. And thank you, Professor Peroni, for your previous class helping me create it. Um, the signage at the store, I need to spruce it up a little for the holidays. So thank you for pointing that out. But just know that that sign hanging over the kiosk is five feet wide. It just doesn't translate so well in these images here. Um, so that signage location, Competition, those guys are fine. They don't carry the best bikes. Frankly, I think I have a better, certainly considering how much smaller and I don't have my own storefront. Those guys, not to hate on them, but we have better bikes at, at, at better prices probably. Um, certainly competitive. That's in my humble opinion. I've, obviously I'm biased, but I'm also just telling you like it is. The demo persona, everybody inquired about that. Such an important thing. I guess I'm an e-bike demo or at least that 50 to 75 year old demo little bit of residual income live in a nice enough neighborhood where it's safe at least some places are safe to ride around but really the demo for e-bikes is growing um, to match the demo for regular bikes and at this point in time as expensive as regular bikes can be you know i implore everybody to test ride an e-bike and see maybe if that's not the answer you can certainly get as much exercise if you're inclined. You'll just go much further and faster and have that electric at your fingertips, which is pretty fun as well. Um, so that's my answer on a persona. I think either Ray or Marvin has a more detailed um, response on that um, that I'm sure they're happy to share with you. Um, inventory, something that's been a pain point during the pandemic and these shipping embargoes and our situation with China. But I have some good bikes in inventory. There are a couple I'm trying to still get. Our mid-drive bikes are being held up a little because of these pain points. 
but uh, we, we have some good inventory. I bolded these three items, advertising, inventory, and test writing, because that those are kind of like the main three things. Obviously, demo persona, and I want to address that as best I can, but um, the advertising is something I just haven't really done much of because of the fact that it's taken these seven or eight months since I moved into the marketplace to kind of get my inventory together to understand my persona as well as I should. So um, test riding these bikes, that's the secret sauce to getting people to buy it. Uh, and we have a, a nice space at the marketplace to test ride. And um, I actually have done my first bit of paid advertising here. This is gonna be a sign that's gonna be on a tee box in each of the golf courses at Palm Air, which is a semi retirement community in Pompano Beach that meets that demographic uh, I had mentioned. Uh, here are the brands, all premium brands with Panasonic or Samsung cells, Bufong or Mid Drive Dapu Motors, Runner X, the exception, our budget plan. Uh, these are kind of some, uh, you see the new Revy Cheetah on the bottom left, that retro looking Harley thing, uh, really cool folding bike by Amojo. That tricycle that somebody had mentioned, you know, and I super appreciate you guys kind of pointing out these specifics that can make all the difference. I know I have that slider, which can be a legacy application on the home page or landing page, but I get so many people looking at this trike. I have only sold the one, would have had another sale the other day, but they couldn't get approved for the credit they wanted to. That was in part on me too. I have these new payment plans that are not vetted and tested as well as they should be, but there's some growing pains I'm going through on the new website. And while I mention that, because we're about to shift over, oh, that's my mid-drive bike, by the way, on the top right, love that thing. Uh, oh, and Harley has reached out, I'm talking with them about perhaps bringing in their new mid-drive, a whole nother level of bike, as you can see uh, from the price point as well. Uh, oh, so rental, Richard and I, are moving forward with a joint rental. I'm gonna be putting, we're backing away from the premium e-bikes right now, mostly due to, um, you know, stock shortages, but we also, we're gonna go moving forward with these budget runner X folding bikes. They're a lot of fun to ride. They make a lot of sense on a couple of levels to rent. Um, somebody had mentioned my rental process wasn't the prettiest. Um, and so I'm trying to dress that up. I changed some imagery. Um, I put some content in on that page, but we have this calendar. We have the map for where Richard, um, Richard stores where they can go rent. And I want to just utilize, this is what I have right now. This is my rental page. So, you know, if you have input as to how we can pretty this up, I'm all for it. Um, you know, any UX ideas, let me know. Um, so online, this is where I think I have a huge opportunity that I've yet to take an advantage of. Again, I have not, you know, the UX, I think I have a great foundation on my new website, but you guys have pointed out, it needs some some painting, some dressing up. And, you know, sometimes that stuff is a little easier to see outside looking in. So I do appreciate that input. I'm gonna take care of the email journey, but I, I would tell, take suggestions on that. Um, I also, maybe I'll put up a dummy bike or a little, something where we can get a checkout process going and you guys can test that and, and, and give me a little feedback on that. I see I, I duped that with email, but in addition to the journey, I need to get like, if people visited and left, maybe hit them, hey, shopping cart abandoned. And I have something like that. I'm gonna set up and mail, set up in MailChimp, um, but I, I'm looking for feedback on this kind of stuff for suggestions. Then I'm going to start doing the Google ads for the holidays coming up. And then this link here, I'll send a, a link here, but any reviews about, I know you guys can't physically, you know, speak for the bikes, but if you could review, um, you know, my inventory or any experience you had, you know, um, any positive review that doesn't necessarily um, get too detailed is, is welcome and encouraged. And I thank you guys again for everything, um, all the input as well. Um, just real quick, because I want to wrap this up. Here are just some things I have on the back burner, but, you know, tours, campuses with the pandemic's been a tough one. Um, hotels, everybody and their aunt to sit up the hotels. 
kids is an insurance thing. I, I'm all, I do some work with the Special Olympics. Don't know if that fits well in with the e-bikes, but that is a great idea. I do need and want to have some events. I think there's definitely a place for surveys. And I have talked to a couple of people about apps and joint ventures. Um, and that's something that I'm looking into moving forward. So thank you so much for offering that. I know I've gone a couple of minutes over, but this was going to be a 10 minute follow up presentation. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody so much for all your great input. It really has been valuable. And you can see already on my website, I've changed some imagery and some content. Um, and um, please keep the emails coming. And uh, I look forward to connecting again soon. All right. Bye and thanks.